As many of you know, we are currently undergoing an environmental crisis. Deforestation, global warming and pollution of the seas are just some of the pro problems we're experiencing. These are problems that we have created. Major floods are and will be occurring because of the melting ice caps. Many habitats of innocent animals are being destroyed. The future seems dark if we do not change. The demand for energy is constantly rising because of the growing world population and the sheer amount of people living in cities whose lives depend on the constant use of electricity. Today, I'll focus on one of the many problems, finding a source of sustainable energy. Currently, the majority of our energy sources are unsustainable. We burn coal, oil and gas. Approximately only 15% of our energy sources are sustainable. This is a problem, but I believe there is a solution. This is nuclear energy. When most people hear the word nuclear, they assume harmful and dangerous. Well, that's because the majority of our nuclear technology is harmful and dangerous. There are two types of nuclear technology, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Both do not release greenhouse gases. We currently have nuclear fission. In this process, a large nucleus is split, releasing large amounts of energy. However, along with this energy, radioactive waste is produced. This radioactive waste has a long, long activity and high high activity and a long half-life, meaning that it can harm us and the environment. This radioactive waste can also be used to create nuclear weapons. This is no good. What scientists are currently trying to develop is nuclear fusion. In this process, two small nuclei are fused together, hence the name fusion. This process too releases large amounts of energy. However, unlike nuclear fission, this process is mostly safe. Some radioactive waste is produced, however, it has a short half-life and not a lot of activity, meaning that it can be recycled or reusable within 100 years. 100 years may seem like a long time, but for radioactive waste, it, is, it really isn't. This nuclear waste cannot be used to create nuclear weapons. This is very good. Also, meltdowns such as Fukushima and Chernobyl cannot, cannot occur. The best part of nuclear fusion may be that it's practically inexhaustible. Since the fuel for the reaction is found in seawater, it will last us a very long time, approximately 2 billion years. Not only is nuclear fusion good for the environment, it is also very effective. From only 50 megawatts of input power, it can produce 500 megawatts of output power. The reaction produces 4 million times more energy than burning coal, oil and gas. Scientists predict that they may be unable to capture all of this output power straight away, but this will be a big step forward in the production of commercially available sustainable energy. The world's largest fusion reactor is now 50% complete and predicted to come by 2025. Reactors for commercial production will be here by 2040. I believe that this will be the answer to the majority of our energy problems. However, there are two main problems. First being the price. The price of the actual reactor is huge, $17 billion for construction alone. This high construction price will also affect the price of the actual energy, meaning it will cost more than our current energy sources. The second main problem is containing the heat from the reaction. Since the reaction is based on the principle of the sun and stars, a temperature of 150 million degrees Celsius will be achieved. As many of you can imagine, containing such heat will be an issue. Personally, I would not mind paying more for energy if it did not harm the environment. I am sure many others would do the same. Today, I want all of you to think about what would you be willing to sacrifice for a safer future for you and the next generations. Thank you.